Hey, what's everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to quickly and efficiently set your white balance in Adobe Photoshop. So you can see this is the before, it's a yellow tint on everything, and then this is going to be the after, where we actually correct it back to the proper white balance. So let's get started on this. It's not too hard of an effect to pull off, um, but it just uses some, some fun tools in Photoshop. First thing you wanna do is find an image or the image that you're editing and import that into Photoshop. I'm using an image from Envato Elements. It's a fantastic resource for anything stock footage. Instead of having to pay individually, you pay a subscription. You can download unlimited amounts of video, clips, templates, things like that. Fantastic, check out the link in the description below. So once you go ahead and import your footage, a lot of times it'll import as background with a lock over here. You want to unclick that and make it not a lock anymore so that the layer can be manipulated. Then we're going to go down to the bottom right, and we're going to create a new layer. It's this little plus button right here. It'll create a new layer on the top. We're then going to use the Edit Fill right there, and we're going to use Contents 50% Gray, Opacity 100. You'll see that it creates this big sort of gray box here. The next step that we want to do is we want to change its blending mode, so make sure you have the Layer 1 selected. Go up to this Normal area, and we're going to go up, or actually down to Difference and then it creates this sort of funky x-ray look to it. We then want to apply an effect onto this called threshold. So it's this sort of yin-yang symbol in the bottom right to apply different effects and adjustments. You can also use the adjustments layer up here and find it as well, but we're gonna go here, threshold, and you're gonna see it's you know completely black at this point. You'll have the properties menu come up, and then from here, we're gonna drag it as far to the left as we can. Instead of trying to use your hand here, Click on this and use the up and down arrows on your keyboard. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get to a point where there's some very solid lines here. And you can see right here, we have a good patch. So we're then going to go to the left side here, go to your eyedropper tool. You can click the eye button to get there. We're gonna go to that point, And now you're gonna hold your shift key and you're gonna see it changes to that sort of, almost like a crosshair above it. Find that point where it's perfectly black, click right there. And what that's going to do is it's going to give you a marker that we can use. We then go back, we un or we just hide this top layer, this little eye icon right here, hide this middle layer, and now we have the icon. What we've done is we found the perfect gray for this. So what can we do with this information? Now we can go ahead on and select layer zero, go down into the effects again. We're going to look for curves. In the curves menu, again, it's going to be in the properties here. There are three of them, black, gray and white. This is how you adjust things based off of the footage you have. We want the middle one gray. We're then going to go to our point and we're just going to click on it. And magically it will have worked. All we did was all of this was just to help us find our middle gray because us as human beings, it's hard for us to just look and say, well, that's a perfect gray, especially when it's being manipulated outside of the white color balance. So with this, we are actually able to find the perfect gray within our shot, use this to touch that perfect gray, and then we can quickly and efficiently make sure our white balance is perfect. Thank you everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and them in the comment section below. Check out our, our sponsor of Envato Elements if you're really interested in things like stock footage and you don't have to keep paying for them. They have some beautiful video clips. Just click the link below and just check out the video clips. It's awesome what you can download from these people. Subscribe if you wanna see more content similar to this one, and until next time guys, see ya.